stop whining, Jack. Jack's whining. Hello, welcome to another vlog. Now, it's Wednesday. I haven't done much this week that's film worthy. So my lovely friend John's here. Say hello, John. <laughs> I'll show you him in a minute. I think you've met him before. Football, football friend. Oh, the sky's changed. But now I've got a cold, fresh beer. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to film me because a lot of you've asked, and in case there isn't a huge amount more in this vlog, I'm going to show you many of the things that I do each day to try and get fitter. So that says wake up. I don't know if you've seen this before, but this is what I do every morning while the kettle's boiling. Please don't laugh. Well, John can laugh. This is just to wake up my whole body. I'm not going to do 10 of everything, but obviously I try and do 10 of everything or 12, um, depending on how my body's feeling. But I try and do most of these every single day. Definitely this one, because most of us, John, are you stiff in the morning? You're young, and he's younger. Um, oh, there, I mean, all stiff there, aren't we? And this is safe. Anybody can do these. Any age, right. This is, can you see all right, John? <laughs> then, um, then I do the hip. And Jack Winges, and then I might put music under this because this could get very poor. Sorry, John, <laughs> I'm not balancing very well. And then this hip, woo! I got this off a handsome man on Instagram who was doing these at top speed, and then I don't do them all. Twiddle the feet, get those feet circulating. Ooh. And I haven't just got up, it's the end of the day. And there we go. And I do this as well, just to get some movement, circulation going. Very good, apparently, for circulation. And then, as you know, come on, little one, say hello to everyone. Hello. We go for our 10 minute walk round the block. Up, oh, sorry, Jack. <laughs> up a very steep hill, which Jack hates almost as much as me now. And then I get on with my day. So, we'll go and show you the other thing that I do every single morning. But I need to ask John where to put the rebounder. See you in a minute. Thank you, John. Right, so the next thing I do now, mm, and I have to stop to tell you this, the doctor did some tests it was my like we haven't seen you for ages it's time for your bloods so i got my bloods done and a nurse rang me up within 24 hours to tell me that i was pre-diabetic look at me pre-diabetic okay that needs to calm down um so i was most upset obviously i didn't sleep for two nights Went, did my research. The number that's banded around, oh, what a racket, um, for being pre-diabetic is over 42. I was 41. The nurse said you're 41. So, okay, it's borderline, but she kept using the phrase pre-diabetic. Found out when I got home, the Diabetes Association said um, anything over 42 is pre-diabetic. 41 is normal. Looked at some bloods I had done um, at the beginning of the year privately, and the doctor who looked at those bloods said, normal, 41. So, I gave the doctor a right hard time today. She said, and she kept saying, you're not pre-diabetic. And I kept saying, yeah, but your nurse told me I was pre-diabetic, but you're not pre-diabetic. We went like this for five minutes, but you said I was pre-diabetic. But you're not much really. uh, Anyway, I did masses of research and put myself on the strictest blood sugar diet um, imaginable. I will carry on, so I'm happy to share that with you on another vlog because we all have raging blood sugars from time to time and it is age related. So I've done masses of research and I've tweaked my diet. But the one thing that I read two books, I'll put the details below that really help. But the one thing I learned from Dr. Michael Mosley, 
that even with the best diet in the world, which I have, as you know, the best diet in the world, you need exercise, lots of exercise. And according to him, if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic or whatever, you need to move every 30 minutes, which because of the job I do, sitting editing for hours, I don't. I get loads of walking with Jack. I go to Pilates. You know I do a fair amount. But there are days when I've got too much work to do. There's always time for a trampoline. So now I have the phone on every 30 minutes. Even if it's I'm watching telly and a commercial break comes on, I walk around. I just go into the kitchen and get a glass of water. Any movement is needed. So I'm passing all that on because I think it's really important. And then in a year's time, I'll tell you if I've got my blood sugar levels lower than borderline. So this is what I do whenever I get the urge. It's a good record on the radio. I tell you the best tune for this. John will probably vomit. And um, Robbie Williams, let me entertain you, is brilliant for bouncing zoo um, because it's just the right length. So I do at least three to four minutes of that. I won't do all of that now because we've got to get on with the next one. At least I'm getting my exercise in. Right, I found this out, I think on a podcast in the news. Oh, I can't remember where, but everyone was talking about it. Doing a plank and doing a, I'll show you how to do it. One of those. Oh, God, that hurts. Um, doing that for two minutes, I still haven't got to two, oh, I have got to two minutes on the plank. Apparently, um, brings your blood pressure down. Um, so, something to share with you that's really important. Come with me. I'm worn out already. Anyway, this is the plank and I do this every single day. I'm not going to do it for two minutes now because I'll probably pass out, but... Build up slowly. That's the best, best advice I can give you. Don't do anything for too long. <sighs> That's enough. <sighs> and then the other one. Are you still filming? Oh, I did something bad then, John. I used my arms to balance. This is really important. Try and get up as much as possible without using your hands. A couple of things I've got to say. When I take Jack for the walk around the block, up a steep hill, no glasses. I'm sure you know by now that that is really important. I'm always banging on about it. Really, really important for getting the light into your eyeballs for your circadian rhythm so you sleep better at night. And the other thing I wanted to mention was when we get to steps, that's why I'm wearing a bum bag under here. I put the phone in there and everything is measured, but we haven't got to steps yet. So don't worry about it. That's, does it make it look really lumpy, John? Oh, good. Right. The other one that goes with the plank is a very painful squat. You need a solid wall, very strong thighs, and build up to two minutes. I barely make it to a minute, but I'm doing my best. So build up slowly. And the last one I'm going to show you, I think I've shared before, but you can do this when you watch telly and you want that break every 30 minutes. So um, this is all I'm doing. Be careful as you go down if you've got a week back. So sitting on the chair, and then getting up, no hands. I can do this really easily now. Works the tummy, works the thighs. These are brilliant if you haven't got time to do a proper class. So work up to, I think I initially started with working up to 20. I'm now um, getting close to the end. I'll keep smiling. I'm much better than I was. So, I think that's all I'm going to show you on film. Now back to the blackboard, just to talk through the rest of them. So the other one is, and again, this was because of being pre-diabetic, not. Um, all the experts said, try and do a minimum of 45 minute walk. Um, 
easy if you split it up, especially especially because Jack's so old, he can't go out all the time. Um, and Dr. Mosley suggested three 10 minute walks fast is even better. So I've been doing that, that's easy. Just make sure you've got your phone or your pedometer, whatever you use to count your steps. There's no rule about this 10,000 just steps a day, just 45 minutes, even if it's three, four, 10 minute wadges. It's fine, everybody can fit in 10 minutes. I now get off the bus a stop earlier, um, and I'm thinking of going a little bit further. I timed it today, seven minutes, to get a faster bus into Brighton Park, further away from the supermarket, etc., etc. Really easy. Weights, I don't do that every day, but obviously if you do all of these, including the plank, your body's the weight. But I do um, uh, a couple of things on YouTube that are... Do you look a bit crooked, John? That phone looks a bit crooked. Oh, do you know why? Because the house is crooked. <laughs> I do... Um, Joe Wicks, he does a lovely weight class that's only 15 minutes for beginners. Um, and I do that and I'm up to two. It's pathetic, isn't it? But I think it's good enough. And I will do a separate five right session because I'm actually doing them better. I found an amazing Indian lady showing us how to do the five rights. This is something you can do in a hotel room. You don't need anything except a floor. So I have done it before, but I'm going to do it again on another vlog. So I hope that's helped you. You don't think I'm some kind of neurotic lunatic, but if you don't move it, you lose it. Um, and talking of which, I think the next thing I'm going to show you is the Instagram post I did for that retirement village. And it was really inspiring because I met a 78 year old man who had driven from Lewis, look it up on the map for distances, 78 John had driven from L near Lewis to Worthing, got his bike out of the car, cycled all the way to Rottingdean, where I live. Unbelievable. And it just, that's another reason I've started moving more. So for God's sake, I'm going to be pathetic if I don't start doing more now. So I hope that's helped. I hope it's inspired you. And on with the show. Thank you, John. Hello, my lovelies. You're joining me here at Gradwell Park, one of the retirement villages group, which centers very much around well-being and nature. It's very near me in the heart of East Sussex. So come with me to discover more. Tai Chi is just one of the many things residents here do to keep fit and confident and therefore improve their self-esteem. There's a thriving community here with resident-led activities like gardening to keep them feeling empowered and independent. And their friendships boost their self-esteem big time. They told me they've never felt lonely here because of all the activities they can share, from art to evening cocktails with their like-minded friends, all so important for self-esteem. My three top tips for improving self-esteem and confidence are move it or lose it. Things like Tai Chi are absolutely perfect for improving confidence and balance. Two, try and stimulate your brain every day, whether it's learning the Latin name for your favourite plant or remembering the words for your favourite song, singing along with your mates. And three, get into nature and do a sort of meditation stroke walk for just five minutes. It will really start your day off beautifully. So it's the next day, Thursday, Go back to the sunflowers, so pretty. Um, I wanted to show you my new, um, I don't know whether you call it makeup. It's just, I'll show you the box. It's Elf, it's called Elf, express your Elf. How cute is that? So I will go through this if you want it. There's a lipstick you can use as a blusher not mad keen on the colour, there's a lash, just mascara, but this is a pre-base, that is a glowy thing, I love it, what's it called? I, can't, I haven't got the right glasses on, and that's the spray that I forgot to put on, so if you like, I'll do that for next week's vlog, 
plus the long comb stuff. I'm wearing that gorgeous top half of the festival outfit. So um, I'm going to share this outfit with you. I've just filmed it for Instagram. So I'll share that with you for this week's vlog. Sorry, there's not much going out and about on it. I just haven't been out and about much. And it's not weather related, it's energy related. Do you ever get days like this? That uh, Jack's the same, I can't raise him. He will not get out of bed. Look at Jack. He's still in his bed, not interested in anything. Look, he's left his breakfast. That's the long comb stuff. Um, that I was sent. It's all to do with lashes, improving lashes and all loads of different mascara and eye makeup. So let's have a go with that next week as well. We haven't even had a morning walk. All that exercise I did last night, I think just finished me off after three weeks of upping the exercise, changing my diet, uh, rushing around, doing lovely social things. This isn't work-related. That's been lovely and and easy. But um, I think I've just been rushing around too much because I woke up this morning and despite it being a glorious day, I just wanted to stay in bed all day. Do you ever get days like that? I didn't stay in bed all day, of course, but I'm very slow and I'm not doing anything I don't feel like doing, if that makes sense. I'm very achy and slow. If I've got the energy, Pilates tomorrow in the local village hall. I was supposed to go this morning, but I felt too rubbish. I think I've just overdone it with the exercise. Um, and sauna, sauna and fun tomorrow night. So I think that'll probably be it. What a boring week, I'm sorry. But I can't keep going like the clappers every week, can I? Festival gigs, London festival, music, blah, blah, blah. So this is what I do on a beautiful day when I just need to rest. I've done two short walks, uh, some editing this morning. I'm going to do a third short walk with Jack in a minute as it cools down. And I'm enjoying a bit of vitamin D and a podcast. Let me just show you what else is going on in the very messy house, which I will clear up when it gets cooler. Look at that lovely view. And I was going to show you little Jack Bubbeyes, but he's suddenly woken up and he's playing with his chicken wings. Aren't dogs funny? That means he's not really very hungry. Jack. Go and tackle the emails a bit later. Oh, I needed this. A very lazy day. Just talking to neighbours. I found somewhere to put you so you can see that I'm still in summer clothes. Listen to how much poor Jack's panting, panting, panting. And I've lost my key, mislaid it. So that's round my neck. Right, we're going on our favorite leafy lanes walk, which you haven't seen for a while. It'll be far better in the autumn um, when the leaves change. But honestly, what a boring week for you. It's just been around my home, beach, walking Jack. Um, apologies, we'll do better next time uh, lots of beauty next time i haven't got lots to do on clothes but i will in portugal i did tell you i was going didn't i just for a week to faro um i've got some business there I told you that nothing to do with instagram or youtube 
but I will um, obviously do my highlights for you. And, oh, lovely leafy lane. And, um, and hopefully have time to dress up for you every day, show you my holiday outfits, most of which you will have seen before. All right, I'll leave Jack with his lead dragging because he does wander off nowadays. Just, oh, you're not going to wee on your lead. Jack, come here, let's take your lead off. Please don't wander off. There's a good boy. So we're going to have brunch because the cleaners are in. Could have filmed them. They're delightful. They're lovely. Right. Two of them come and do a huge clean sweep every Friday, then it's done. So this is what I call Leafy Lane. I might put some nice music to this. It's just so pretty and shady, which we need, believe it or not. It's only about 22 degrees, but it's boiling again in the sun. I think it's the humidity. So we're going to have brunch at one of my favourite cafes. There are two. This is the Arts Cafe. Look, you can sit out there. And the other one is the windmill. I will put them, pop them both below so you can see them. It's got a nice outside patch. And the windmill has a lovely back garden as well. So if you're ever in Washington, two places to sit and eat. Right, there we are. This is lovely, it's lovely in the winter as well. And everywhere's dog friendly. There we go, look, isn't that pretty? And you can go shopping here. Cards and local things. Hello, lovely. Hello. Say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Give, I'm giving all local, that's best, so there's a light oh. in the way. Hi YouTube, open up to those. Mark. Mark. Good man. Right, my usual please. Okay. Let's test you. Where's my friend? Come on, come and say hello. Say hello through there. Hi. That's Ju Julia. Juliet. 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 Yes, it's an et. At least I remembered half of it. <laughs> it's what? Right, my usual is... Oh, How many eggs do you do? It's always a three. Yes, yeah, too much. I always no, leave it. Two. two. Two eggs, avo, salad, no seeds. Are we having a sausage for Jack? Yes, please. Sausage for Jack and my usual coffee. Okay, my darling. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Bless you. Look at that. Jack's got a sausage. Look at the beautiful Lido. I'd never have made a weather girl, would I have done? I never know where to paint. Paint? Point. <laughs> I think I'm delirious after such a weird week of very little social engagement. Obviously a lot with my neighbours because we have a fabulous community. Anyway, I think this is the end of the vlog. Um, I hope you forgive me for how dull it all is. Anyway, I'm off to what would possibly be my last sauna session of the summer, although there are some near a town. So I will investigate that because I am loving these saunas and cold water baths.
exciting so i hope you enjoyed that my lovelies and i will see you next week and i hope you didn't get too bored don't forget to do the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe somebody pointed out that you might think it costs money it doesn't this is completely free this is my little television program for you which is weekly so please subscribe and i'll see you next week so there's the lovely lido which is now out of use because they make more money opening every weekend of september just for dogs here we are waiting look there the cold tubs there the ladies there's the unusable pool and there's the sauna and there's the lovely jessie who may wave at you yes she's waving bye bye see you next week